ज्ञान निकेतन ऑनलाइन आई डॉक्टर रूपी पांडे इज गोइंग टू टेल फर्दर अपॉन ए थिंग ऑफ ब्यूटी वेल बिफोर आई बिगेन लेट एस फर्स्ट रिकेपचुलेट ए फ्यू थिंग्स दैट वी हैड स्टडीड दैट डे और द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट जॉन किड्स वॉज अ रोमांटिक पोएट and he was a romantic poet of the second phase of romanticism that came after the classical age in classical age a lot of artificiality was there in life and literature both but in the romantic age means in that second phase of romanticism again people were returning to nature so in both the ideas idea of romantic revolt and romantic revival nature is the common thing there was a romantic revolt against the unnatural things artificial things we should remember that there had been the philosophers like jean jacques rousseau who said man was born free and he is everywhere in the bondage so this bondage should be broken and in 1789 there was the french revolution it was an external aspect of that romantic revival and then romantic revolt and then there was the romantic revival that means they turned towards nature now a romantic poet has three things in his writing the love for nature underlines all the things all the romantic writings are underlined by love for nature after that it has the reflection of love liberty and beauty and love is the motive force liberty allows the full perfection i mean movement towards perfection without any hindrance without any stagnation and beauty is the controlling force it controls through and a discipline of oh, a natural discipline a natural proportion that makes things appealing and through the high morality that is always associated with greatness some sort of high morality now i am coming to the lines of oh. a thing of beauty is a joy for ever its loveliness and cause it will never pass into nothingness now there is a conversational rhyme you see that a thing of beauty is a joy for ever its loveliness and cause it will never pass into nothing so this ever and never this makes a rhyming but you can put it like a prose as we speak uh, the language of conversation conversational rhyme a thing that in modern age under vikram said so such such a marvelous or uh, effect in his uh, points now a thing of beauty is a joy for ever let us ask a question is it really a joy for ever of uh, from the view point of higher secondary school there has been several times a question a very important question is here how is a thing of beauty a joy for ever is it really don't people get i mean finally uh, uh, 
Don't they feel that it has been enough now, a serpent? And then leave that thing of beauty. Because they have had enough of it. It has also been said that beauty ridicules the wicked. Doesn't a wicked person destroy beauty? Of course it does. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. It can't be a joy forever. If it fails to generate love, so a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Only when the thing of beauty generates love. That's why John Kitts has been very careful in the selection of the word. He says its loveliness increases. What does increase? That is the loveliness. We see lovely, the word lovely is a synonym for beautiful. So if the beautiful thing appears lovely, then it has generated love. A beautiful thing has generated love. And then love generates beauty. And again that beauty generates love. So more beauty, more love, more joy. It goes on increasing. You should keep in mind that John Kitts was basically a student of science. He, he was educated to be a doctor, but he left that medical profession and chose to. Left that means didn't go for medical profession and chose to be a poet. So a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It, its loveliness increases. Alright, ask a mother. Even if the son or daughter of that mother is the ugliest one in the world, but if that mother has love for that son or daughter of hers, that son or daughter will be the prettiest or most beautiful boy or girl in this world for that mother. Because it's the love that makes her, uh, makes someone or something appear beautiful. So, a thing of beauty is a joy forever, its loveliness increases, it will never pass into nothingness. If something is growing, how can it pass into nothingness? For passing into nothingness, is must, it must keep on decreasing. But here the process is different. Here it goes on increasing. So he says, it can't pass into nothingness. It will keep on increasing. Now further in the other session. Thank you.